All right, I'm on hole number nine of the Glen Monarch nine hole cup and I'm in the final round. And I'm on track. I came in with the goal of shooting a minus 14 and I have gotten it done. So hole number nine, this is a, this is a very difficult, all three of the par fives in, in the Glen Monarch estate holes are difficult. But of the three, this is the one that is the most doable. And I'm going to play with mm, let's see here I'm taking the wind out you can, on both of these shots on the second shot if I don't execute on the first shot I may you know the wind may play into the it play into it so I'm gonna use a Titan but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play with a club that I don't normally play with which is an apocalypse an apocalypse level two and the reason is is that I'm not concerned about the distance because you're actually not doing a going up to the red line and trying to get everything in your club and I'm not concerned about the top spin because I'm not going to use any more than two but what I am concerned about is that extra 30 curl so I'm going to use this even though it is a what 2.3 per ring not the most accurate club in the bag all right here we go. Is that what I need? That is what I need right there. Need to get an eagle here. Need to get an eagle for any shot at a win. I want to be the standalone minus 14 at the top and put pressure on everybody else. About half the brackets played, the other half has it, but I want to put pressure on that other half so that they feel like they have to go for everything in order to get up there. So I got in this bracket and started playing relatively close to when I got in. I need to execute. I want to be out in this area right here. The farther I can get out in that area, the better off I'll be. The last two times I've been on this hole, I've hit it. I've been out there in that area, but I've hit a great to the right on the drive and lost just a little bit of distance. I need to hit this perfect. And anything you can net to the left will pay dividends on the second second shot. I'm definitely going to go. I'm going to switch this up. I'm going to switch to a kingmaker because I got more side spin. I'm going to come back in here. I want to be two rings off. 2.0 per ring or excuse me it's 2.3 per ring so it's a little less than a ring maximum curl hitting it perfect let's see how much distance I got out of here going to the left that's exactly what I'm talking about could have put on, because I'm getting so far out there to the left, you could actually put on a little bit more topspin. You have the room. You can see where my opponent is and where I'm at. I had, I had room there. If I had put on three topspin, I, I would have had room. If you're hitting with an extra mile, you really don't want to hit any more than two topspin. Because you take a big risk of rolling off on that rough up there. But with the extra curl on the apocalypse and the extra side spin on a kingmaker... It does give you a little bit more room, and so three top spin is probably the number. That was that's what I'm talking about. Is so if you overshoot that, it's so there, there's the speed there coming in is so close. Get up a little. Just engaging a little teeny bit of top spin. Just get me rolling up towards the hole. But not so much that I'm rolling off the back. Maybe this way just a titch. It's 2.5 per ring. It's 2.2 per ring, so it's just a titch over a ring. I'm going to put just a little bit of curl just to bring it towards the hole. And I hit it great on the left, which will definitely definitely bring it towards the hole as long as I can get 
There we go. There we go. Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Good. Your shot at a at albatross on this hole. I mean, you can you can get more aggressive going for albatross, but the deal is is that the more aggressive you get going towards albatross, the more you have to put the sand and the stuff on the left in the play. And it's not that you can't get an albatross on this hole. It's just that when you do that, it is a you really put your eagle at risk. And the goal right now is to get eagle and not to risk eagle getting greedy. I'm going to put all of the top spin on. Make that ring set as small as possible. Try and hit it perfect. Hitting it perfect. In the hole. That's what a minus 14 looks like. Awesome. That's what I'm talking about. Really, this whole this course is so tough that just a minus nine is is like, you know, you have to you have to get a birdie on everything. And every hole does give you some opportunities to pick shots up. But uh, it means I picked up five. Five of the holes I was able to capitalize. So and this hole right here, I missed the hole in one on this by by just just missed it so since it's over let me see if I can go out a winner and I will uh... yes we're gonna be in between clubs I'm gonna try a shot here I talked about it early in the in the week when we were doing just kind of the walkthrough on what you could do if you, especially if you had lower developed clubs and you didn't want to do the bounce over, like what you could do. I'm going to see if I can do a rough bump on the other side with a big dot, with a big topper. Let's see if that works. I think if you come over into this area right here and you're trying to do the rough bump, there is a 20% wind adjustment on this hole. And you might be able to eke it up there. See if I can do a rough bump. Let's see if I can get that, if achieve that shot. Three, four, we, eh, it's close to four. It's two, two. I'm gonna do a two ring pull. I'm gonna put some curl on to bring it over towards the hole. Hitting it perfect. Let's see if that. Let's see if that. If you can do a rough bump here, you can. You got to get the top. You got to work that top spin. But that is a viable. That is a. You know, if you're finding that you don't like that shot on the other side and you don't have a backspin club, that is a shot that you can try there. All right, that was hole number nine. Let's see, that should put me at the top of the people that have played. All right, that is going to uh, put some pressure on the people that have not played. So I'm not even going to look down here and try and figure it out. But I think about the top, pretty close to the top 50. Uh, finish their rounds and not quite all of the top 50 so we got a lot of people that's good we got a lot of people here who have not either started or or haven't uh, finished their round and so by coming into this bracket early and popping out a score like that what I've done is I put pressure on every single one of these people now if you watch my videos you notice that as I go up I don't ever go up in the weekend round and see what people have shot because I don't want to know I just want to go out there and play my round I've got notes I've got a game plan I know which balls to bring which clubs to bring and I want to just play my round and see if I can win but most people are going to come into a bracket and immediately go up to the top of the bracket and go oh my gosh somebody shot a minus 14 and they're going to start getting aggressive on every hole. And what it does is it's, it, I want them to, to make their own, I want them to make mistakes by trying to get to that. So I like the putting pressure on them. All right, that was the Mo Glen Monarch nine hole cup in the final round. Now, one other thing for those of you that watch my videos, and hey, I appreciate, I, I, I am so happy you guys are watching the videos. I've got some some new people in here we picked up quite a few subscribers i mean i don't know i'm only at 100 and you look at everybody else and they're in the thousands but um for those of you that are watching my videos i really do appreciate it and if you see where i'm at in my practice rounds 
and you see where my scores are and what I'm doing. Those rounds are practice. They don't, a lot of people watch the thing and then they'll get a hold of me one way or another and then they'll bitch me out about what are you wasting our time for or doing that. The whole deal is, is to practice these holes so that in a weekend round or a final round, that's where the magic happens. So that's why I practice these holes so that I can come in with a game plan in the final round and try and pop off a good score. Thanks for watching.